Bid thy mistress, when my drink is ready, she strike upon the bell. Get thee to bed. Is this a dagger which I see before me? Hand it toward my hand. Come. Let me clutch. I have thee not. And yet I see thee still. Art not fatal vision sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind? A false creation proceeding from the heat oppressed brain. I see thee yet in form as palpable as this, which now I draw. Thou marshalest me the way that I was going. And such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made the fools of the other senses. Or else worth all the rest. I see thee still. But on thy blade and dudgeon, gouts of blood which was not so before. There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Now o'er the one half world. Nature seems dead. Wicked dreams abuse the curtained sleep. Thou sure and firm set earth, hear not my steps, which way they walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my whereabouts, and take the present horror from the time which now suits with it. Whilst I threat, he lives. Words to the heat of deeds to cold breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for tis a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. That which hath made them drunk hath made me bold. What hath quenched them hath given me fire. Hark! Yes. It was the owl that shrieked. The fatal bellman which gives the sternest good night. Yes, about it. The doors are open and the surfeited grooms do mock their charge with snores. I have drugged their possets. That death and nature do contend about them. Whether they live or die. Who's there? What ho? Hello! I'm afraid they have awaked and tis not done. The attempt and not the deed confounds us. Hark! I lay their daggers ready, he could not miss them. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband! I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the cricket's cry. Did not you speak? When? Now! As I descended. I! Hark! Who lies in the second chamber? Donald Bane. Sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. One did laugh in sleep. One cried murder. That they did wake each other. I stood and heard them. They did say their prayers and addressed them again to sleep. 
There are two lodged together. One said, God bless us. And... Amen. The other, as they had seen me with these hangman's hands. Consider it not so deeply. But, but wherefore could not I pronounce Amen? I had most need of blessing and Amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so all make us mad. We thought I had a voice, cry sleep. No more. Macbeth had murdered sleep. The innocent sleep. Sleep that knits up the raffled sleeve of care. The death of each day's life saw labour's bar, balm of hurt mind. The great nature's second course. She nourished her in my What in do you mean? Do it cried, sleep no more into all the house. The glands had murdered sleep, and therefore Cordor shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Who was it that thus cried? Why, worthy thane, you do unbend your noble strength to think so brain sickly of things. Go, get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring the daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go, carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. For I am afraid to think what I have done. Look on again, I dare not. Infirm of purpose. Give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are but as pictures. Just the eye of trials that that fears a painted devil. If these do bleed, I'll deal the faces of the grooms with all. You must see their guilt. <laughs> Wait, see that knocking? How is it with me when every noise appalls me? What hands are here? God, they pluck out mine eyes. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash the blood clean from this hand? No. This, my hand, will rather the multitudinous seas Incarnadine, making the green one red. My hands are of your colour, but I shame to wear a heart so white. I hear a knocking at the south entry. Retire we to our chamber. A little water clears us of this deed. How easy is it then? Your constancy hath left you unattended. <gasps> More knocking. Get on your night down. Must occasion call us. Show us to be watchers. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. To know my deed. To best not know myself. Wake Duncan with thy knocking. I would thou couldst. <laughs> <laughs>